Hello everyone. Look what we got. Another Star Wars Legion unboxing. Dude, I tried my best to get this tag off. I got this at Miniature Market. I was actually in St. Louis, so I had to stop by there, of course. But the thing I don't like is they put those tags on that are so hard to get off, which... I mean, if you're not going to keep your boxes and stuff, it's not that big of a deal. But when I'm trying to, you know, open, open stuff for people on camera... I like the boxes to be a little cleaner, but you know, you take what you can get. But this is the Rebelist, Rebel Specialist expansion for the Rebel Army, of course. Now, what I like about this is you're not getting a ton of stuff miniature wise, like you would like getting another core set or something like that. But you're getting some really cool upgrades for your Rebel troops, as well as getting the generic commander, which is very valuable. So, we're going to look at the miniatures first, and then we'll look at the cards here. Now, this is back when we have the soft plastic, not on sprue, with the assembly instructions right there. So, you're going to see we're going to get the Rebel Comms Technician, an Officer, a Medical Droid, and an Astronaut Droid. And then, just a little bit about that here, but we don't care about that. There's our generic commander there, and what the generic commander is going to let you do is run... A cheaper person. I love the look of that astromech. That looks great. I'm really excited for these upgrades. I've been needing them for a long time. There's the comp stack. Probably won't use them. But the medical droid and the astromech, I think, is what I'm going to use the most. We'll see what they do here. Um, so this unit, this generic commander, and all the factions have this. And then, then one of these options, it's a way to get a very cheap commander out there so you can spend more points on like your operatives and core units and specialists and all that. So you can see here, now these points aren't accurate, I believe this guy only costs 40 now, I don't know, but originally uh, he costs 50. Now always, I would check taper, Tabletop Admiral or... Um, one of the other sites to make sure, or AMG's official errata's to make sure you're playing with the proper points and keywords and all that, but we're just gonna look at the original cards and go from there. So just know that these are not accurate to today's standards in 2023. Uh, so you're gonna get a command slot, which is great, and a gear slot. Just him by himself. He's got a courage of four, or sorry, health of four, courage of two. He's got that wonderful white defense die, but he does have a surge to hit and surge to block. Uh, so his abilities here, which is nice, take cover one, choose a friendly trooper at range one, that unit gains a dodge token. You guys know that generic rebel troopers are pretty squishy because they have those white die. They love their dodge tokens, and this guy helps handing them out. He's like a budget Leia, more of a support commander. He's not going to be in the front lines leading the attack. He's going to kind of be behind telling people what to do to kind of make them more effective. Inspire 1, after your rally step, you can remove up to one suppression token from another friendly unit at range 1 to 2. So help keeping them from being panicked and all that. Uh, Sharpshooter 1 for performing a ranged attack reduce the defender's cover by 1. But I mean, let's look what he's shooting with there. It's not really going to do much. He's mainly there for his support abilities and to just not have to use an expensive commander in the command slot. But we are going to get some sweet command cards. Now these are another awesome addition to this pack. So these are specific to the Rebels. Like I said, the other specialists for like the uh, Empire and Republic and Separatists, they're all going to have their own special cards too. But you can see here, these are better than the generic cards you play. So Sabotage Communications, you can do an Operative or Specialist Unit, Rebel only. Your opponent must issue orders to one fewer unit than is indicated on their command card to a minimum of one. Not bad. Turn the tide. I like this one a lot. They run a lot of vehicles. This is perfect. Uh, too heavy or oh, support units, right? That one's heavy. That's support, I think. I don't remember. Uh, each friendly support and heavy unit gains Inspire 2, which is great. And the 3-pip covering fire. 
three core units, row baloney, of course, all three of these are row baloney. After a friendly core unit performs a range attack, another friendly unit at range one and two may gain a dodge token. So yet again, and these two together, you're gonna get a lot more dodge tokens on your troopers, which are gonna make them last a little bit longer, maybe be able to score that objective for you, or just not die in one turn. But let's look at the upgrade cards here. So not only do you get the commander, you could also use the rebel officer as an upgrade for a core unit. It adds a Rebel Officer Mini. Your Courage is increased by one. You gain Inspire one, which lets you move Suppressions, and then, of course, he's going to be your leader. But you could also have the Rebel Comms Technician. You gain that upgrade, and you must equip a Comm Upgrade card. You can have the Medical Droid, which is probably the one I'm going to use the most here. Uh, as a free action, there's treat one, capacity two. So basically, uh, you would take a wound off of a unit. You get two uses of that, basically. Place a wound token on this card to remove one wound or a poison token or restore one mini to a friendly non-droid trooper unit at range one and line of sight. So you get to do that twice. Help keep your guys alive or help keep, you know, maybe an operative alive. You want them to have some health back. Astromech Droid basically does the same thing for vehicles. It lets you remove wound, ion, or vehicle damage tokens or restore one mini to a friendly droid or vehicle at range one in line of sight. So people, droids, and vehicles. Commanding presence. When issuing orders, you can issue orders at range one to four. Comms relay for non-emplacement troopers only. Uh, when you would be issued an order, you may choose a friendly unit at range 1 to 2. Issue an order to a chosen unit instead. If you do, you cannot be issued another order during this round. And then, copy of Recon Intel. So, I think this is almost a necessity if you're playing Rebels to get that cheap commander. It helps boost your units up. Like I said, you could also play with Leia. Uh, she's a more expensive version of this, but if you want an even cheaper one to maybe use some of those newer expensive operatives, maybe have this guy with Ahsoka and Sabine and some Mandalorians and fill out with some core units, that could be a good list. But I just wanted to let you guys see what was inside of this in case you were wanting to get it. I would say it's a definite purchase uh, for to get the specialist box for any of your, any army you have, no matter what the uh, I mean, it is, but faction. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Um, what else? Let's see. All the YouTube stuff. Please subscribe to us. It means a lot if you do. I get excited every time I see that number go off. We're a super small channel, so it means a lot. Hit that notification bell so you can see when we upload stuff, including uh, unboxing videos of units that have been around for a very long, long time. But we are just getting around, too, so we're excited about it. Plus, you never know, there may be a new player that wants to look up a video and they can see a more uh, recent one as opposed to one that came out when the game was originally released. Uh, I think that's all I got. You guys go play some games. Let me know if you guys use this unit and all that stuff, but I will see you all later.